Hey everyone, what's up? It's me. I'm in my new apartment. Pretty pretty cool stuff. So, um, some of you probably are aware there was a pretty big tragedy on YouTube, or like just in general, pretty big event. Uh, there was a YouTuber who um, ended his life. Just very sad. It's Etika. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he's a he's a guy who did. Um, he streamed, he, he reviewed stuff, he did a lot of reactions, mostly he's very known for his big reactions to, like, Smash updates and, like, just Nintendo news in general. And just being a huge Nintendo fan myself, I immediately gravitated to this guy and, like, really enjoyed his content. He just seemed like a good guy altogether, like, uh, so it's just so sad, man. Like, I know I didn't know him personally. Um, but there's like a sort of a weird parasocial relationship in, in that because, you know, anytime there was a Smash announcement, anytime there was a big Nintendo news, and like I follow that shit like real close. Uh, it's my either my either I would do it at the same time simultaneously or do it right after, but I always like, okay, I can't wait to see what like Etika thinks of this and like it all, all always very entertaining and very interesting, like and then it it hyped me up more and seeing his hype and like oh, there's other YouTubers that do that too, but no none to the level of of Etika. and like I got, I started, I knew him probably since the, like at least when Smash Brothers, uh, for Wii U came out, and I think that's about the same time, like his, his reaction, I think, to, some, to Cloud or something, that went viral, so I guess that's a little after, uh, after the Wii U times, but like it just sucks, dude, like, uh, well, again, I didn't know the guy personally, like, you saw, if you were watching, if you're a fan, or you were just kind of caught up in the events, you saw him just decay over time, and that's such an interesting, I don't say interesting, that's a bad way to say it, but it's a, just a, it's a very eye-opening sort of, uh, event that just occurred, we saw a man who was, in a sense, cr one, crying out for help, and maybe two, just experiencing, like a mental breakdown like just we saw it in real time and like i hate to say that you know that anything uh fans could have done to would stop what happened probably not but i mean it's sort of sad that he was kind of crying for help the whole time and no one was really listening there was a period of time where people were saying that he was look you know seeking attention and i mean i guess that kind of fit his persona at least his youtube persona but i mean of course it turned out that was not the case at all and people that said that made a huge error in just judgment and just moral character as far as i'm concerned because if someone's saying that they're going to commit suicide or something like that like it's your obligation to take it seriously and if it's something that you know, it turns out to be fake or something, if you can even prove that, like, that's to their detriment, not yours. We we try super hard, right, to be there for people. Sorry, my kids in the background. We try super hard to be there for people, and, like, I understand, like, there's only so much we can do, but I think, if anything, this stories really help open my eyes to just take better care of the people in my life and take care of myself as well because you know I don't know what he was going through at all but I mean I have my own struggles we all do and it, you know, it's, it's interesting we need to take and sometimes we need to take a step back and just you know re-examine our lives and seeing if we have our priorities in check and like uh, that's the, uh, this is a definite uh Example in his in his video he he made right before he died he said that social media basically ruined his life, and um, I, I can see the toxicity of uh, social media. Just a few months ago, I deleted all of my accounts to everything like Facebook, Twitter, I, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. I basically now all I have is YouTube and Reddit. But even that, you know, it's a, it's still toxic as well. But it's a, I feel like it's more of a creative or intellectual outlet if you're talking about reddit but but either way the the point of the the point is is that social media played a huge role in his mental mental decline and it's really unfortunate that it, that it happened like that and i'm not blaming anything specifically cuz i again i'm not a professional i don't know the situation intimately but in his own words he said it ruined his life so clearly it played a, a huge part in his his mental well-being so that's very sad. Just in general, like I, I've had time to process this because I've been, I've been following this really. It was just a scary event. Like I, at work, just looking at the updates and making sure things were happening because I, you know, saw it happen. I saw there's a couple other things that happened this year 
Uh, I'm not going to get into any of that stuff, but it's available. It's available to see on the internet if you search. And uh, it's just like, yeah, it's just such a sad thing. And hearing that he died when it did, it hit me so hard. And I waited a little bit of time to to um, to say something because I wanted to not to be right off the heels of this. Because one, I needed time to process my thoughts. And two, like I wasn't, I didn't want to capitalize on his death in any way, you know. But I really, but then at the end of the day, so I was thinking maybe I won't even make a video at all. But it, like I couldn't, I couldn't because I feel like if it was, it was me. I, I wanted to make a video about this, but I didn't know if it was appropriate. But like really, I think Etika is the, is the main example of like talking about the shit that you want to talk about and push, push and like it just as long as you know I think if you be respectful I think it, there's video tributes out to him that I think you'd really appreciate there's this one video from live stream fails it's an unfortunate name for the title but the the, the video is very tasteful it's the one they just recently did and I, I think it was it was shocking in an appropriate way so remember it, just so like again just with Etika man I I wish I could have met you I really wish that we I feel like we could get along pretty well. Uh, you just seem like a cool guy, and like I'm really gonna miss your your commentary. I'm really gonna miss just your energy, even though like you're in New York, dude. Like you felt that energy all the way here. And I, I, speaking of which, there was a time when I was at Pack South. It's one of the years I went to Pack South, and I was waiting for the Expo Hall to open. I was sitting in line about an hour, and there's a guy next to me who was wearing the Joy-Con boy shirt, and so I immediately just talked to him about that and. He like was a huge fan, so we talked about you know Etika the entire time, basically, because that was the only thing we had in common. That was right before the Switch came out, so it was like a lot of hype energy. Just so it was cool. So you know, it's sad that what happened. I'm fucking, I'm just fucking devastated. I'm just so I'm really like not. I wouldn't. I don't want to like hyperbolize this, but it's just it is affecting me a lot, and so I needed to talk about it. Um, it's just like suicide's a real sad thing and like it's a complex issue that we don't understand it not you know and I don't feel like anybody really does there's a lot of you know papers and a lot of uh, medical and psychological research or uh, uh, psychology <laughs> done so um, yeah it's just it's a lot it's complex I think uh, the only thing I could really say is just be there for each other uh, it's hard. It's it's hard to say like if you're feeling like that talk to someone because you know people talk and it's still like not enough. So it's just like you talk if you're on the receiving end of these sort of. You know, people don't talk about this a lot. If someone's ta confiding in you even a little bit that they're like feeling that way, just be there for them the best you can because it's it's our obligation. It's our obligation to take care of people. So I think we should do a better job of that. If we learned anything from the situation, just take care of yourself. Take care of others.